Hello, my darling loves. Welcome to your weekend love reading for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for December 3rd through December 6th. I cannot believe we are in December. Happy December, everyone. Um, all right, guys. So I hope everybody is, uh, uh, oh my, uh, wow, I can't speak. All my cancer babies are happy, safe, healthy, and doing well. Um, special shout out to my good friend, Kimberly. She just opened her own um, crystal shop and redid her website. The link is below for her website. Um, guys, I have a super awesome announcement. Uh, I have opened a few slots weekly for Cancer Baby Tarot to do personal readings, okay? Um, you're going to go ahead and shoot me um, a request by email to cancerbabyinfo at gmail.com. The link is below. The amount for the readings is below. Um, if it's, it's first come first serve. So if I email you back with a link to pay, that's only good for 12 hours because there's a lot of other people waiting in line. Okay. So, um, you know, just if you email me for a reading, just keep an eye out. Um, I will email you back within, um, the first 24 hours if you, it's first come first serve. So I have a certain amount of slots per week. So what, whenever that fills up, then I'm done for the week. I, cause I, I run two channels guys. I have this channel and tarot of light okay all right guys so don't forget to like share comment subscribe starting december we are going to be announcing winners weekly so i'll be giving away tarot cards oracle cards palo santo sage jewelry runes crystals bibles books um every single week okay and um we'll, we're still doing the 250 dollar uh, monthly giveaway every month um for the holidays, I'll be choosing one winner for a $500 giveaway on December 15th. So make sure you click that notification bell, guys, okay? Very important so that this way um, you know when my readings post and you know when the winners are announced. You don't want to win and then, you know what I'm saying, not get notified that you've won, all right? So let's go ahead and get started. Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, Clarity guidance and love messages clarity guidance love messages for my cancers sun moon rising and venus signs for december 3rd through december 6th please holy spirit angel spirits and guides clarity guidance love messages for my cancerians please December 3rd through the 6th. All right, so Cancer, we are going to do a you versus them. You place yourself on what side it resonates. Okay, so we have the Two of Cups, the Empress, Aries, Taurus, Libra, Cancerian energy. We have the Four of Cups. We have the Eight of Pentacles. We have the Eight of Wands. We have the Six of Wands. We have the Ten of Cups. And we have the Justice card, Libra Energy. So Cancer on this side, Six of Cups and the Star under the deck. So Cancer on this side, what I'm feeling here is we have a relationship with the Two of Cups. I, I feel like someone here, just, just hold on one second here. I feel like here, okay, so this is a soulmate connection and we have this empress energy. So I'm kind of getting this energy of someone here knowing their worth. Someone here is unha unhappy or dissatisfied with what they're seeing, with what the other person is doing in this connection. And I feel like there's going to be communication here. Someone here is going to open up about how they feel and they're going to say, listen, I want a 10 of cups situation here. I want happy family, happy home. I want to reach, you know what I'm saying, abundance with you. I want it all with you, you know what I'm saying? And I feel like I'm being treated unfairly. So there's a strong soulmate connection here, but it would appear that one person is just not happy, like they're not being fulfilled in this connection, and someone here is going to open up and speak their truth, okay? And speak their truth. Spirit, what clarity guidance do we have here for my cancers? Please tell me about this Two of Cups, the Hanged Man, Piscean Energy, the Empress, 
and the King of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy, Four of Cups and the Eight of Wands, the Eight of Pentacles and the Knight of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. Yes, yeah, someone here, see, someone's not showing the love. Someone's not, um, you know, it kind of, it feels like that, that moment when the honeymoon phase dies down and someone's not like all over you, giving you tension, giving you love, talking to you, having those deep, meaningful conversations, or maybe coming towards you sexually all the time. Um, but someone here is slacking when it comes down to, you know, putting that type of work in. And I feel like someone here is getting a little annoyed. Tell me, yeah, see two of swords and and the um, Eight of Wands. There you are, Cancerian Energy with the Six of Wands. Page of Swords. And the Justice card with the Magician. Virgo, Gemini Energy, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra Energy. So Cancer, someone here is going to say, listen, do you want this or not? Because I, you know, I feel shut out. I feel like, you know, you don't even see me anymore. You're not talking to me. You're not coming towards me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I want love and affection too. I, I'm more than willing to give it to you. Um, you know, I feel like things have just become so routine, stable, you know, doing the same thing every day that the passion, the communication, going out, having a good time, showing each other love has kind of faded away. And someone's going to speak their truth. Listen, I want love. I want a loving connection. I'm not looking for just the home, the money, the commitment. I'm not looking for just, you know, outside appearances. I want real love in my relationship. You know what I'm saying? And I want to manifest that with you. So I feel like a conversation is going to take place about this. So let's see what the other person has to say. What clarity and guidance do we have here for my cancers, please? So we have the two of wands and the full Aries energy. We have the strength card, Leo energy. We have the wheel of fortune. We have the two of pentacles. Oh boy. We have the Page of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. We have the Magician, Virgo, Gemini energy. And we have the Seven of Cups. So this person here, is it's warranted, Cancer. Yeah, see, it's warranted. Someone here is, it. they feel their person pulling away or they feel like things have gone stagnant. There's a sense of stagnancy, okay? And there's a reason for that. The reason for that is that this person started wondering, hmm, I wonder what the neighbor's yard looks like. Someone here is pulling away from their blessing. I mean, the Empress and the King of Pentacles, there may be a slight age difference between you and this person, but this is a really solid, stable connection, okay? It's solid. I mean, it, it, it could go places, right? And someone here is not seeing it for what it is. Someone's not seeing their blessing. Someone here is wondering, I, I feel like someone started talking to someone else. The Two of Pentacles and the Page of Pentacles, I feel like someone is, you know, maybe they started talking to someone as a friend. I'm not saying that someone is jumping in cheating and having sex everywhere that's not what i'm saying what i'm saying is maybe someone here encountered somebody um or started talking to a friend or started talking to someone else and now someone's like mm, do i really want to commit you know what i'm saying i feel like someone here is um you know being a little manipulative someone here maybe uh has other options and they're not you know what i'm saying and that's why this person here is starting to feel a little left out okay Holy Spirit, angel spirits and gifts. So we have the two of wands and the nine of swords. Yes, yeah, someone here is getting anxiety. They're starting to get like claustrophobic in this connection. They want to go explore the full card and the six of cups. The strength card and the five of swords the wheel of fortune and the high priestess cancer piscean energy so guys what i'm feeling here is that someone maybe had an ex that came back into the picture someone here maybe had a childhood sweetheart or a family friend um you know this is definitely someone that uh has been in their life for some time and with the strength card and the five of swords i feel like someone here is walking away or playing mind games um and with that wheel of fortune and the high priestess i kind of feel like someone here is going quiet on their blessing 
Two of Pentacles and the Knight of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy, Page of Pentacles and the Nine of Wands. Yes, yeah, someone here is gonna is about to make a very reckless and impulsive decision. Um, this is definitely somebody that when that text message, email, or phone call came through, the, this person should have blocked it. This person should not have picked up the phone. They should not have answered. Okay. So by doing so, by having this conversation, it has gone into a territory of cheating i'm thinking yes yeah, see now we've got the magician and the three of cups seven of cups and the seven of wands so what's happening here now is someone has given themselves options someone has you know what i'm saying um it's kind of like if you're on a diet, the last thing you want to do is go buy a box of brownies and put it on your counter. Do you see what I'm saying? Like you're putting temptation in the way. And what's happening, that's what this person did. You understand? This person is in a commitment and someone here, I feel, reached out to them and they started, you know, their their gaze, their, their focus started shifting to someplace else when they should not be doing that. They should be focused. They should be, you know what I'm saying? See that seven of wands and that nine of wands they should be saying no i'm in a relationship do you understand but they're not doing that they're not doing that okay so the challenge here we've got the nine of pentacles virgo energy pre empress energy the three of pentacles and the five of swords so what i'm getting here guys is you see that three of pentacles energy that could be someone that they work with it could be a friend i feel like a third party has come into the picture and i feel like this person right here is portraying themselves as single someone here is playing mind games so this person here is feeling really unhappy dissatisfied it's kind of like the relationship has gone stagnant and this person here is portraying themselves as single to a third party okay maybe you know that it's a friend or i don't know but someone here is kind of like you know it's it's uh yeah not good what outcome do we see here we have the five of cups we have the six of pentacles and we have the six of swords oh cancer Someone here is really going to regret this decision because with that six of pentacles energy, I feel like someone here was breadcrumbing this person. Okay, so this person here is being breadcrumbed, right? And I feel like this person's going to regret it because either this empress is going to pick up and leave or maybe someone here has decided to breadcrumb and walk away from this person and go towards the third party. I don't know. But someone here is really regretting breadcrumbing someone or giving to the wrong situation because it looks like someone here may end up walking away we've got new beginnings we have angels of the four directions and we have kindred partnership so you see cancer what's happening here is you have a beautiful connection here you have a divinely guided soul tie connection this is a very strong soulmate connection we see that when that two of cups comes out this is a very strong soulmate connection um, make the effort great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take and we have trust the situation is calling for you to have faith so i feel like someone here you see with that high priestess and the wheel someone here is not looking at their blessing okay um they're not making the effort and the connection and they're betraying trust you see what i'm saying so not good they're gonna end up regretting this because the, the divine has given this person a blessing and someone here is just kind of like spitting in their face and just you know what i'm saying looking at the neighbor's yard to see if the grass is greener on the other side um all right so let's see what is going to happen here because we have i'm feeling um you know that either this emperor or this this king of pentacles here someone is uh, shifting their focus in the wrong direction cancer okay so let's see what's going to happen here um let's see if there's going to be an actual separation because that six of swords can be an indication of a coming apart someone walking away so let's see if someone here is going to separate because of this third party um let's see if this is going to come together again if the situation is going to fix itself okay the link for the the um uh, extended will be in the description box below and in the comment section below okay i love you guys bye oh and guys just so you know i did switch from vimeo to um gumroad i think it is because vimeo was having a lot of technical difficulties so if you purchase an extended reading on a uh, gum i think it's gumroad it's called um when you go to purchase it it will send you an email with the um uh, with the video okay so if you want to re-watch the extended just go to your email and you'll have that link okay all right guys i love you bye